अपना कैमरा ऑन करो पहले अपना डांटना खत्म करते हैं अरे अरे पीपल आर लुक नो बॉडी इज लुकिंग सैड अभी नंदना कहा हो नित देन देर इज सोनी क्या नाम है उसका नहीं नितेश नहीं लेट मी सी देर इज नितिशर एम टेक अभी बाकी दो लोग अभी भी आने का है साहिल आर यू देयर हाँ साहिल इज देयर ओके साहिल इज देयर फाइन ओके सो लेट द कैमेरा रिमेन ऑन फॉर फर्स्ट थ्री फोर मिनिट्स Uh, then I, I mean, I, I know who are present and who are absent. I mean, it's Sony. He has joined just now. Anyone who has expanded the determinant? Anyone who has expanded the determinant, and you could write it in the form of a cubic polynomial? That was my question at the end of yesterday's class. So, abhi jawab do. अभी जवाब दो रिचा हुआ कि नहीं हुआ तो यू आर नॉट से Sir, actually, I have expanded it, but not written it fairly. So I don't know if it's correct. That's why. Right. Okay. So, so, can you tell me what is interesting in that polynomial? Look at, look at it. Whether fair or rough, whatever it may be. If you have expanded and arranged it as a cubic polynomial of omega square, it is a cubic polynomial of omega square. can you tell me what is interesting if you look at this polynomial you will find something important something important
सर जे वन जे टू जे थ्री अरेन्ज लाइक एगन वैल्यू नहीं 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 सी दिस इज वेर माई स्टूडेंट्स आई मीन द वे यू थिंक इट डजेंट जेनरली मैच माई एक्सपेक्टेशन इट इज ऑब्वियस नो नो वॉट वॉट यू हैव सेड इज नॉट रॉन्ग इट इज करेक्ट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट आई एम नॉट सिंग वॉट यू हैव सेड इज रॉन्ग बट आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग समथिंग बियॉन्ड कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट चीज नजर आ रहा पॉलिनोमियल को देखो एंड यू विल कम आउट विथ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट इंपॉर्टेंट कंक्लूशन सर हियर वन ऑफ द ओमेगा सॉल्यूशन इज नॉट जीरो इज नॉट जीरो बिकॉज अ कांस्टेंट टर्म वेयर डी डी ओमेगा टर्म इज नॉट नो नो डू यू मीन टू से नो नो विल देयर बी ओमेगा one of the root will it be zero or not not sir one root will be zero ah uh, see two different students giving two different answers and this is why companies do not hire more than one student from bnit hmm nokri ghat gaya kyon nokri ghat gaya कंपनी हायर ओनली वन स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम बी एन आई टी वो बोलते दो लेंगे तो दोनों तो अलग अलग बातें करेगा वन विल से टू प्लस टू फोर अनदर वन विल से टू प्लस टू इज फाइव हा बोलो विच स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वन ऑफ द रूट ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल विल ऑलवेज बी जीरो और मे नॉट बी जीरो Which statement is correct? Bolo. One of the polynomial will always be zero. Uh, this is who is saying? Nitesh. Okay. Yeah. Our UG UG ke bache log. Sir, UG zero, sir. It will be zero. One of the root will be zero. जीरो कहीं पे दिखना नहीं चाहिए ऐसा नहीं है सो इन दिस केस वन ऑफ द ओमेगा वैल्यू विल ऑलवेज बी जीरो वट डज इट मीन that here also there will be rigid body motion and that physically we agree that this three disc rotor can also have a rigid body rotation so any torsional oscillation system any whether it has two disc three disc 10 number of disc it will always be a semi definite system because it can always execute a rigid body rotation and that is why whenever we expand the determinant one of the natural frequency has to be zero so if i consider a bigger system where we have four disk there also one of the natural frequency will come out to be zero fine however that zero natural frequency does not uh, help us because zero natural frequency is connected with rotation we are not interested in rotation we are interested in torsional vibration kon batayega mujhe that when a sapped this combination it rotates i have explained it yesterday not only there will be rotation superimposed on the rotation there will be torsional oscillation torsional oscillation is indicated by angle of twist so there will be angle of rotation on superimposed on this angle of rotation there will be angle of twist angle of twist is coming because of the torsional oscillation 
So any rotating system will always have rotation as well as twist. Agree? Now, <clears throat> we are here is not interested in rotation. We are here interested in twist. Q? Q. From engineering point of view. I mean, uh, unfortunately, third year, you have not learned machine design at all. But at least MTech student, angle of twist or rotation, dono mein phadak kya hai? Whenever a rotor rotates, its angle theta will have two components. One is rigid body rotation component theta, another one is angle of twist. <coughs> angle of this rotation no, related to. Okay. Uh, nee, nee, I will explain because you may not. Pure rotation is connected with torque transmission where the torque is constant. So that rotor is rotating. Remember, every rotor, rotation is the motion part of it. That is not the main part of it. What is the main part of any rotor? Torque transmission. The job of a rotor is transmit the torque. So whenever a rotor transmits a torque at every cross section, kya hota hai? Whenever a rotor, whenever a sat transmits a torque at every cross section, kya hota hai? Machine design point of view, kya hota hai? A sat is transmitting torque. Fine. Now you want to look at it from machine design point of view, not vibration point of view, machine design point of view. So what you will calculate? Uh, you have been told that there is a sapt in front of you. This sapt while rotating, it should transmit so much of torque. So from machine design point of view, what you will calculate? We will see uh, it will exit. Uh, ex Nay, 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 nay. It will uh, angle of tissue is greater or nay, 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 in, nay. this is the limit. problem somehow we will, we will find shear strength. What you will do? I am saying what you will do. I am not asking a comment from you. What you will do first? We'll find the design power. Find the design power. Are what is that design? Ye to kahani suna rahe ho. Engineer jaisa baat nahi kar rahe ho. Specific answer do. I am tech student. Prasad bolo. Power, power transmission. The okay. transmitted power. Specific answer. Specific answer. You all are, you know, uh, speaking out from the surface. Hit the right sentence. Hit the right sentence. Uh, can you or diya hai I am saying this is the sapt, this much is the yes. diameter, it is rotating. What I am saying, rotation is not important, a sapt is meant for rotation. Agree? But the main thing about any sapt is how much torque it is transmitting. So, we have given this sapt is transmitting. 50 newton meter of torque and this is the sap i have placed the sap before you what you will do as an engineer agar kuch nahi karoge to salary nahi milega what you will do sir we find the strength of the sap strength of the sap to metallurgy batayega agree yes Will you strength hame chahiye, but that is not first. I am saying what first you will do. Strength of the sap ham baad mein aayenge. Suruat, right at the beginning what you will do as an engineer, as a mechanical engineer. Let me be more precise. You are a mechanical engineer. What is the first thing you will calculate? M-Tech student? Angle of Angle of space. 
Angel of speech. I am unable to hear. So please make it clear. Angle of speech. Angle nahi. Angle nahi. Angle nahi. Angle nahi. Richa. Torsional stress and then check for failure. Torsional stress, that is the correct answer. We'll calculate the torsional stress. Now, when you calculate the torsional stress, do you think it will remain constant throughout the cross section? Hi, I think your mic microphone, you no, should tune it properly. Uh, no, sir, I think I have a problem. So how torsional stress varies? Should I call it torsional stress or I can call it, I can give it a better name? Shear stress. Shear stress is the better name. Don't call it torsional stress. The stress is induced by torsion, but the better name, the correct name is shear stress. We have to calculate the shear stress. So if you know how to calculate shear stress for a rotating shaft, can you tell me, we, should we focus on shear stress at the center or shear stress at the surface? At the surface, sir. Surface, sir. Surface. At the surface. After we have calculated shear stress at the surface, what we will do as an engineer? We will check it with the strength of its material. Again, yeah. mistake. You say that we will not get the same strength. We will compare it with which strength? Shear strength. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Not allowable. ultimate strength. Not ultimate strength. We will compare yeah. this with allowable shear strength. Allowable shear stress. Yes. Allowable. See, you have to be very, very perfect. No one will not give it. Allowable shear strength of that particular material material so now you also find out what is the material and what is allowable shear strength is actual shear strength divided by factor of safety agree so as an engineer you have to calculate shear stress that is very very important now we, in which other application also we calculate shear stress? A rotating sap transmitting a torque, we need to calculate shear stress. Agree? But there are another application where also we need to calculate shear stress. And all of you have done it. What is that application? That is a more frequent application where we need to calculate shear stress. I mean, you have to give it a name. It's not a sact. It's not a sact. Joints. Joints may nahi hote hai. It's a general name. Okay, I'll, I'll give you because we are losing time. Beam. Do you think shear stress occurs in beam? Yes, sir. I think yes, you, sir. you must have been taught for a beam bending moment diagram, shear force diagram. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, in a beam also shear stress occurs. But let me tell you, there is an interesting thing. In a beam, generally, even if shear stress occurs, uh, we don't uh, give importance. What do we do? Beam beam. No, no, let me finish. In a beam, two stresses occur. Normal stress also occurs, shear stress also occurs. Generally, we don't focus on shear stress. Kyo karte hai? Ha, you can answer now. Sir, the magnitude of normal stress is far greater than shear stress. Always? Yes, sir. Always. Always. Wrong answer. Wrong it answer. My, my undergraduate different. student, uh, they have done MD1 very recently. Is there any machine component you have designed on the basis of shear stress? 
एम डी वन एनी मेशीन कॉम्पोनेंट यू हैव डिजाइन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेस एंड सीयर स्ट्रेंथ इट्स नॉट ए रोटेटिंग सैप्ट अदर देन रोटेटिंग सैप्ट अ स्टैटिक डिवाइस अ स्टैटिक मेशीन एलिमेंट यू हैव डिजाइन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सीयर स्ट्रेस आई मीन एम टेक स्टूडेंट कैन ऑल्सो रिकलेक्ट लेकिन यूजी स्टूडेंट शुड रिकलेक्ट इमीडिएटली बिकॉज इन द वेरी लास्ट सेमेस्टर यू हैव बीन टॉट जल्दी से बोलो लास्ट नहीं फोर्थ सेमेस्टर में बोलो रिबेट्स एंड पीन्स ऑल पीन्स आर डिजाइंड नॉट बेस्ड ऑन नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस बेस्ड ऑन सीयर स्ट्रेस क्यों कौन बता पाएगा क्यों कुछ भी नहीं सीखा और यू ऑल आर एक्सपेक्टिंग के बस जैसे डिग्री मिलेगा विल बी मिलियन ईयर इन ए ईयर मतलब एक साल में दस लाख से ज्यादा तनख्वाह मिलना चाहिए विल बी मिलियन ईयर सी इफ यू रियली वांट टू बी मिलियन मिलियन ईयर और बिलियन ईयर ट्राई टू बिकम अम्बानी एंड अदानी डोंट ज्वाइन बी एन आई टी हाँ बताओ so what finally i am trying to summarize if the length l by d ratio it depends on l by d ratio what is called slender ratio ratio if l by d ratio is small shear shear stress will dominate bending stress let me repeat again if l by d ratio is small less than 1 by small i generally mean less than 1 or of the order of 1 even do bhi chalta hai if l by d ratio is small shear stress will dominate bending stress but if l by d ratio is large 10 around 10 bending stress will dominate shear stress to jitne bhi pin hote hai rivet hote hai L by D ratio is small. Now, have you heard of Gaussian pin? सुने हो Have you heard this name Gaussian pin? Oh uh, yes, sir. M Tech student, ne? Let me let me talk to my B Tech students. ये लोग क्या सीखा second year में? Wrist pin. भाई हैव यू एवर हर्ड ऑफ दिस टू वर्ड्स गजियन पिन एंड रिस्ट पिन अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट ओके एम टेक बताओ कहां पे है सर इन आईसी इंजिन वॉट है स्टोरी डायरेक्ट एंसर डायरेक्ट एंसर सर बिटवीन दैट a uh, piston and connecting rod we have to fit the pin and that pin is known as a gaussian is it gaussian pin? pin or wrist pin sir uh, most it is gaussian pin only that pin then wh- which one is wrist pin sir uh, uh, wrist pin is uh, like there is a crankshaft and connecting rod i know so, yes. so so are you are you saying the correct order or you are simply in the reverse order सर एक्चुअली आई एम ऑल्सो नॉट श्योर मे बी आई एम करेक्ट सो 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 अभी कबड्डी में फंस गया ना यस सर कबड्डी में फंस गया ठीक है बट दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड लेट मी टेल यू दैट गेटिंग सी जी पी ए इज नॉट एन अप इफ यू कैनॉट एंसर फंडामेंटल क्वेश्चन यू कैनॉट बिकम अ हाई अर्निंग इंजीनियर गेटिंग ए जॉब इज नॉट द मेन थिंग Getting promotion within ten years or twenty years, like Sundar Pichai, huh? Will you believe that for one, for two years, myself and Sundar Pichai, we were in the same campus together. He was doing B Tech, I was doing M Tech. But you see, today, where is he and where am I? So you have to be intelligent. Of course, it doesn't mean I am not intelligent. but definitely 
he is much more capable so you have to increase your capability i'm sorry gajian pin and this pin undergraduate student it is taught in theory of machine too because in theory of machine too you have, you, you must have been taught uh, dynamics of ic engine reciprocating mechanism so there you should have known which one is wrist pin which one is gajian pin another interesting thing let me share with you maybe today i am not teaching you vibration you can blame me if you are not happy i will i will go back to vibration sahil the moment you say sir bahut bore ho rahe ya vibration mein aap sab sabba no sir no 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 if you want i can go back to vibration immediately but vibration is not is not an isolated subject it is not an isolated it is connected with so many things please remember this gajian pin and uh, wrist pin an interesting thing is that the bearing we use they are needle bearing they are not roller bearing they are needle bearing okay so you should know all these thing bearing itself can demand to be a, a subject this is so important it itself so you must know yourself our our vnit teachers will not teach you enough but bearing is very very important there are 20 30 types of bearing you should know so just now i have given you an information that wrist pin you generally uses and gajian pin also generally uses uh, needle bearing ab kaise needle bearing kya hota hai wahan pe needle why we use needle bearing there all these things i am not going to you know give all this information but then these are the knowledge you must have before you call yourself an engineer and this knowledge are there in textbook but in a very scattered fashion and there comes the job of a teacher it is the job of a teacher who is supposed to tell you all the important things a teacher is not supposed to teach you what is already written in textbook because anyway you can read a textbook and you can learn a teacher is supposed to tell you what is not there in a textbook that is called teaching anyway to so let me go back shear stress we calculate in beam also but what is the difference between shear stress in a beam and shear stress in a rotating shaft can anybody tell me in 5 second in, uh, these are all training and placement standard question in rotating shaft shear stress uh, is direct shear stress is direct and, and it is indirect beam it is indirect yes sir in beam it is indirect what do you mean by indirect uh, by loading it no no that is a wrong answer uh, answer is not correct anyways okay. anybody else this this sir, is a ha huh. beam it is transverse and uh, in shaft it is nominal stress uh, like shear stress in same shear stress can never be normal agree um that is a no 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 um, it is a blunder it is a blunder shear stress can never be normal it has to be in the plane of the cross section you you, yes. you are violating solid mechanics shear stress can never be normal to phir oh, nokri chhod oh, to interview tumko turant nikal dega darje se khirki se darja se bhi door se nahi seedha khirki se utha ke fek dega shear stress always will be in in plane of the cross section it can never be normal but there is a major difference between shear stress that occurs in a beam and shear stress that occurs in a rotating shaft a very interesting and important difference you must know all of you must know You, you can try to answer even if it may not, i mean uh, so don't hesitate uh, bolo bolo louder sir on the beam it's constant throughout the cross section richa you are wrong anyone else md1 kitna grade mila tha richa kitna mila tha md1 so 9 teacher निस्तान है सर की एके सिंह सर सर हाफ पार्ट वॉज टॉट बाय निस्तान बाकी हाफ 
याद नहीं है तो आपको दोनों टीचर से बात करना होगा एनी वे एनी वर्ड आंसर well in beam it, it in the center the uh, shear stress is higher but in the top shear stress will be shear stress is not higher it is maximum yes sir it is maximum at Actually, the center shear stress in variation in a beam follows a parabolic contour yes sir and uh, in sir, shaft, your, your yes. solid mechanics should be you know very sound it should be solid what i find that generally knowledge of solid mechanics is fluid your knowledge in solid mechanics should be solid so in a beam shear stress occurs along the cross section such that it is zero at the surface maximum at the center actually yes, it follows a parabolic function yes sir for a rotating shaft it is exactly the reverse at the center shear stress is zero and at the periphery shear stress is maximum and it is a linear variation yes, it is not a parabolic variation it is a linear variation see remember this question they have pinpointed answer if you don't give an answer interviewer immediately comes to know interviewer dekhega bhi nahi cgpa 9.99 hai wo seedha samajh jayega isko kuch aata hai ki nahi aata hai so these are the important question and they, they are very basic question you must know anyway so let me go back to torsional vibration i by mistake i came back to other things but this is important in torsional vibration our focus is twist angle because higher is the twist angle higher will be the stress induced in the shaft our focus is to limit the angle of twist but the stress that is induced by angle of twist it is not static stress it is a dynamic stress why because angle of twist will continue to change itself from a maximum positive value to a max minimum negative value so when i say capital theta is equal to 1 degree it means angular twist is varying between plus 1 degree to minus 1 degree constantly so please remember when a shaft rotates there is shear stress because of the torque that is transmitted that is static stress that does not vary with time but torsional oscillation will create angle of twist who will vary with time t and the stress connected with angle of twist will vary with time t so that is a varying shear stress so if we have a constant shear stress and on it we have superimposed a varying shear stress what failure for concept will apply what failure there is a very very well known failure concept i mean how will you check whether it will fail or not maximum shear stress theory maximum shear stress theory okay anything else let me repeat again when a shaft rotates shear stress induced in it will be of two types one is constant shear stress which is coming from the calculation of the overall torque that it is transmitting this constant shear stress will not vary with time t but there will be another shear stress acting on it because of angle of twist who is varying with time t this angle of twist is coming because of torsional oscillation so a varying shear stress because of torsional oscillation and a constant shear stress because of the net torque that is getting transmitted by the shaft so in a problem you can you have calculated both theek hai my uh, net torque suppose it comes out to be 100 newton per meter Uh, or shear stress it may be 200 mpa and varying it might be say 100 mpa suppose you have made all the calculation 
which design criteria you will apply. Now you are a mechanical engineer. You have to make a judgment. Is it safe or it will fail? How will you do it? Which criteria will apply? Nitesh is saying maximum shear stress criteria. Any anybody else? Sir, endurance limit. Using solder bulb. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Abhi dhire dhire yes. correct answer me aaya. Solder bulb. Solder bulb. Uh, so you have to go to yes, fatigue design theory. Why solder bulb? Because solder bulb approach can accommodate a mean as well as oscill variable part. Endurance limit nahi chalega. Endurance limit when you only have the variable part. You don't have a mean part. So good man. No, why why solder bug? Even good man can work there. So if you have heard of this failure theory, good man curve, solder bug curve, we have at the end palm green theory. You should know. Okay, palm green uh, cumulative damage theory. Slightly and advanced, we, we but not that much company. of advanced. Cumulative damage theory by Palm Green. Uh, anyway, so uh, in in a SAPT, basically two types of uh, shear stress occurs. One is the torque that it transmits. It is a constant. Second one is because of the torsional oscillation. So right now we are focused in torsional oscillation. So let me go back to. PPT PPT you can take out your camera now. I mean, you got little bored. So many, so, so uh, half an hour talking to me. Now, let me go back to today's discussion. This is the polynomial I'm getting. Are you getting same or not? Check it. Oh, sorry, it Are is. you getting same or not? Yes, sir. Fine. And here you see one of the omega will come out to be zero. That I have already explained. Now, because this is a quadratic equation, we can easily solve it. Indicating that we can find out non-zero natural frequencies. We can find out non-zero natural frequencies. These frequencies are called natural frequency of torsional oscillation. Natural frequency of torsional oscillation. Now, let me tell you uh, again, uh, let me deviate a little bit. Which sapt, in which sapt torsional oscillation is treated as very important? Generally, for a turbine sapt, we don't bother about torsional oscillation. We should, but we don't. But there is a sapt where we have to be very, we have to study the torsional oscillation 100%. You know, you know the name. Only thing, you have to utter the name. Which sapt? The gear shafts. Gear sapt. Nay, 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 nay. Torsional oscillation is most important for a particular sapt. What is that name? All of you know. All of you know. Crank sapt. Okay. If any sapt fails frequently because of torsional oscillation, it is the crank sapt. In other sapts, Failure because of torsional oscillation is uncommon, not very common. However, in crankshaft, failure due to torsional oscillation is very common, very, very common. Why? Tell me, put your mind. If someone has not told you, put your mind. In a crankshaft, uh, failure under torsional oscillation is common whereas in a gear shaft it is not that common in a in a turbine shaft that is not common a crank shaft mein kya hota hai jiske karan hai bahut hi common hai so the torque is varying 
करेक्ट करेक्ट योर आंसर इज वेरी करेक्ट और आगे बोलो आगे बोलो आगे बोलो आगे बोलो टॉर्क इज वेरी दैट इज नॉट कंप्लीट आंसर टॉर्कर्सर in an ic engine it delivers we want to we want it to deliver a constant torque but we know that there is a there is a problem with all ic engine it can never deliver give us constant torque and that is why we need flywheel so because the con this torque is not constant but is it a periodic torque can i call it a periodic uh, torque answer is yes or no yes 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 sir so because it is a periodic torque it can be expanded in fourier series so there will be omega there will be 2 omega there will be 3 omega there will be 4 omega now the problem is my natural frequency can match with omega resonance will occur my natural frequency can match with 2 omega again resonance will occur natural frequency can match with 3 omega resonance will occur but for a gear shaft and turbine shaft my natural frequency can only match with omega even if my natural frequency is equal to 2 into omega i don't have any resonance in a gear shaft i don't have any resonance in a turbine shaft but if my natural frequency matches with 2 omega in a crankshaft i have a problem so in a crankshaft a possibility of resonance is much more than gear shaft or turbine shaft so the crankshaft is very difficult to design a crankshaft which will remain away from all the resonance it is very difficult so crankshaft design is much more tricky than ordinary turbine shaft now let me ask you another fundamental question should i ask kisko puchunga who, who is the student who is maximum who has maximum confidence koi ek hath uthao ki sir mujhe puchho who is ready to face that question acha chalo mai uh, this question is for all why cross section of a shaft is never non circular i mean do you agree all shafts are always sur having circular cross section Yes, do you agree or don't agree but let me tell you there are shafts which are non circular there are uh, but mostly 99% shafts are circular okay another shaft which fails uh, wh where failure is very common is the propeller shaft under the truck under the truck from the gear box to the rear wheel that is the differential set in the rear wheel in a truck so from the engine to the rear wheel there is a long shaft generally 2 meter shaft or maybe little more than 2 meter 10 feet ke kareeb ye 8 feet se 10 feet lamba hote hai it transmits torque from engine gearbox outlet to the rear wheel that is differential gear do you know that in any four wheeler 
we use differential gearbox do you know that or not yes sir. my undergraduate yes. students are yes sir we yes, use sir. a differential gearbox so how differential gearbox works you must know you must know anyway so there is that long shaft is propeller shaft that is circular now an interesting thing ashok leyland ashok leyland is a company he is a competitor with tata who produces uh, commercial trucks basically now it is many other companies also manufacture truck now ashok leyland suddenly started facing a problem that this 8 feet or 10 feet propeller shaft it broke down when the vehicle is in motion now when it breaks down it hit the fuel tank which is close a fit fuel tank ka leakage chalu ho jata so this failure of the propeller shaft it was very very serious ashok leland has finally solved it they found it that the torsion shear stress design wasn't proper wasn't correct so this is another uh, shaft where uh, failure happened to be common nowadays it's not that common but let me come back to the question shafts are generally circular kyu so because it has maximum torsional stiffness i can have much more torsional stiffness from other cross section also It will avoid the stress concentration. So, what is the basic problem? It does not have a symmetric moment of inertia. Its mass moment of inertia will keep on varying. So the stress will constantly fluctuate. Anyway, I don't want to go into that much of detail, but uh, this this is a brilliant question. Why shafts are always circular? Try to find out its answer. But having uh, done this much of theory, uh, here we have uh, okay. This I'll give you the PPT. Everything I'll not explain now. Now I'll go very very fast. I'll give in PPT. पढ़ लेना. लेकिन मुझे जो actually चर्चा करना था आज आज मैं कुछ भी चर्चा नहीं किया. अरे वो कहा गया हा यू डू यू रिमेम्बर दिस डिस्कशन यस्टरडे कुछ याद आ रहा यस ओके सो लेट अस सॉल्व अ प्रॉब्लम क्वेश्चन नंबर एट दिस प्रॉब्लम सेट आई विल गिव यू टुडे प्रॉब्लम नंबर एट इसको पढ़ो पढ़ के इसको सॉल्व करो फॉर अनदर ट्वेंटी मिनट्स विल हैव द क्लास एक दो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करेंगे चलो क्वेश्चन नंबर एट इसका पिक्चर ड्रॉ करो पैरामीटर को भी लिखो इसको सॉल्व करने का कोशिश करो लेट मी सी इफ यू कैन सॉल्व इट और नॉट दिस इज अ माई फेवरेट एग्जाम लाइक क्वेश्चन start solving the problem let me see how much time you take in exam i'll give only 10 minutes
have i given the ppt yesterday so first you have to convert it into equivalent diameter okay so that equivalent diameter will you take 20 mm or 15 mm you can do two things you can decide the diameter and find out the length or you can decide the length and find out the diameter to jo bhi man mein hai karo but you you can solve this problem only by a particular method not by any method thoda socho i am giving you 10 minutes this problem you have to solve by the concept of equivalent stiffness a formula formula ko main aapas la raha ha so this formula that 1 by kb is equal 1 by kt is 1 by kt1 plus 1 by kt2 so l by d equivalent 4 is l1 by d1 4 plus l2 by d2 4 so if you select l you calculate equivalent dia and if you select equivalent dia you get length of the sac either way either for the equivalent sac you select length you get the diameter or if you select the diameter you get the length but this formula is important l by d equivalent 4 is equal to l1 by d1 4 plus l2 by d2 4 isko likho this formula is important l by d equivalent 4 is equal to l1 by d1 4 plus l2 by d2 4 fine so having this uh, you go back to the problem yes isme kya karoge kaise karoge socho so now you can imagine exam problems are not going to be easy getting zero out of 20 is difficult it can happen in find equivalent kt agree uske baad frequency लेकिन नोट कैसे निकालोगे
सर 189.83 रेडियंस पर सेकंड The node will be from B side hundred M. Um. any i think natural frequency kitna mila there will be only one non zero natural frequency are natural frequency bhi abhi tak calculate nahi hua 179.69 so i think i think natural frequency is not the main uh, problem you can easily calculate natural frequency but how to calculate the node it's a difficult question think over it ha huh? kya will node will be at 100 mm at from rotor b side sab galat karte hai anyway that is yes. okay you you just try but this is a very favorite question mainly because it's difficult to find position of the node you have to find out by a special technique think over it but before i finish let me let me talk about uh, you look at question number 9 this is another exam friendly question exam favorite question question number 9 read it read it carefully
now don't look at the values don't look at the values just read this question paper and then i'll go to the figure so this is the figure this is the figure where we have a turbine sapped we have a generator sapped now generally a turbine runs at 3000 rpm generator also runs at 3000 rpm generally we don't need a gearbox in between <clears throat> lekin aaj se 40 saal pehle there was a concept where turbine used to run at higher rpm not 3000 rpm <clears throat> but generator in india should always run at 3000 rpm so we required a gearbox today we don't really have a gearbox in between there is another technical uh, discussion if i enter it will take half an hour that is an interesting technical discussion today we don't need but for small turbines we used to have a gearbox so where turbine will run at higher rpm and that is why you see pinion is smaller in diameter and gear is bigger in diameter indicating turbine will run at higher rpm and generator will run at slower rpm however generator has to always run at 3000 rpm in india so this speed ratio in the question given is 2.5 is to 1 2.5 is to 1. That means turbine RPM. Kaha gaya? Kaha gaya? Yeah. Turbine RPM is 2.5 times RPM of the gearbox. Now, <clears throat> speed ratio is always RPM of the gearbox divided by RPM of the pinion. So in this case, it is 1 by 2.5. In this case, n is 1 by 2.5. so what do we do whenever gearbox enters into a rotating system we combine both pinion as well as gear as a single disc so this side this side it is the equivalent picture where both gear and pinion are combined into a single disc whose moment of inertia is jp jp means moment of inertia of the pinion plus n square times jg moment of inertia of the gear we have to change <clears throat> moment of inertia of the generator also in the equivalent system n square into generator moment of inertia we have to change torsional stiffness of second shaft also n square into k2 so once we can convert this picture into this picture this is nothing but our three disc model where we know how to calculate what is the polynomial we have to solve and uh, how to calculate the natural frequencies three disc model we have already seen only thing this gear box has to be converted into this equivalent 3 disc model so equivalent 3 disc model first you have to develop from the given picture from the given picture but be careful n is speed of gear by speed of pinion so in our problem n is 1 by 2.5 that is 0.4 and once we get this model we know how to solve it and how to get the natural frequencies so this turbine problem you have to solve by this equivalent three disc model concept all the formula i have given and the derivation is also given derivation is also given formula is also given and i will give you the ppt today uh, these three problems you try to solve yourself problem number 7 i have not discussed because that is easy problem number 8 no, how to find out position of a node it is a tricky part but let's see so we will we will torsional oscillation is over today we will start uh, 
something else from uh, Friday that is uh, response spectrum and uh, and uh, tangent excitation. It will take uh, four or five minimum four or five lectures. So maybe that will. We are going very very slow. Let me tell you. For other batch in the past, I finished this much within a month. But for you people, I am going very slow. Can't help it. So today is nine. Kisi ko kuch puch puchna hai to puchho. I'll give the PPT up to these problems. You try or. प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने का कोशिश करो हाँ एनीथिंग एनी डाउट एनी वेयर सर पर एट यू मेंशन यू मेंशन दैट दैट वन वन बाय बोलो बोलो इन राइट नाउ फ्रॉम जेनेटिव टरबाइन टिपिकली यूज अ नो 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 इफ आई रेज द क्वेश्चन आई ऑल्सो एंसर द क्वेश्चन तो फिर तुम्हारा काम क्या है Huh? I mean, so like, can we just at least? No, no, no. You order. you try to think over it. Okay. How do you? No, no, no. How do you? Uh, you know, make yourself valuable to a company. You cannot ask your boss. Ki sir, answer bhi aap hi de do. It's not that I I am not willing to give the answer, but if for every. थिंकिंग तब जाके सैलरी मिलेगा तो सोचो सोचो पहले ऐसा होता था और छोटे टर्माइन में होता था ओके दिस इज वेरी मच कनेक्टेड विथ योर सेकेंड ईयर सब्जेक्ट आई डोंट वॉन्ट ओके आई गिव अंट इसी वन आई गिव अंट इसी वन कैन एनी बॉडी अटेम टू एंसर दिस क्वेश्चन How EC one is connected? See, in India, generator running at three thousand RPM is a compulsion. We cannot change it. We cannot ask any generator to run at a different RPM because our line frequency is fifty hertz. But we can always have the flexibility. Okay, turbine. Go, chalo. We will go to different RPM. 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 We but this is a very very interesting question in engineering and answers are not in any textbook but a turbine if i give you a flexibility that you can use a gearbox and thus thus you can design a turbine which need not run at 3000 will you prefer a lower rpm or you will prefer a higher rpm how will you answer this question This is a ordinary question. I mean, every question you don't think just because I am asking it is a difficult question. All these questions are very ordinary question. Given a choice, you will like to design a turbine at lower RPM or a turbine at higher RPM. The lower RPM. किसने बोला विनीत सोनी सिंह लोअर आरपीएम ठीक है क्लास में और भी तेरा फोर्टीन नहीं थर्टीन स्टूडेंट्स उनका क्या कहना है आई नो यू आर ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर लंच आई नो दैट बट दिस डिस्कशन इज मच मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन लंच विल यू गो फॉर ए लोअर आरपीएम और यू विल लाइक टू डिजाइन ए हायर आरपीएम टर्बाइन अरे भाई 
यू यूज योर यू यूज योर ओन इंटन ऑल्सो कि मुझे पसंद है चलो हम ऐसे ही करेंगे आई डोंट गो बाई इंजीनियरिंग तो जवाब तो दोगे ऐसा चुपचाप बैठे रहोगे तो नौकरी कैसे मिलेगी हाँ यू अनम्यूट योर यू अनम्यूट योर माइक्रोफोन बोलो आई कुड नॉट हियर यू नितेश ने बोला लोअर आरपीएम नितेश कुमार इज ऑल्सो सेइंग सो देर इज वन नितेश सोनी और नितेश कुमार सोनी दोनों भाई है क्या सर यस आर यू पीपल ब्रदर्स नो सर पक्का विनीत अच्छा विनीत सोनी और नितेश सोनी तुम लोग भाई हो ना अरे हाँ यार ना नो सर अरे अरे छुपाओ मत नो सर नो नहीं नहीं छुपाओ मत anyway anyway that's not the main thing so vinit uh, soni has said that he will prefer lower rpm anybody else anybody who will prefer higher rpm aaj se 40 saal pehle turbine higher rpm mein hi banta tha i have already given you a hint so pinion used to be smaller in dia i have already given you a hint can anybody tell me why turbine used to be running at higher speed not lower speed what benefit it has if it runs at higher speed so it generates more power for this answers you don't need to come to vnit and then uh, ambani adani bhi aise answer de sakte hai without doing engineering from engineers we expect specific answer for efficiency will be high no this is connected with velocity diagram of turbine do you remember velocity diagram do you remember velocity diagram velocity triangle there is something called mean speed one of the vector is mean speed <clears throat> mean speed is mean diameter multiplied by rpm if you increase the rpm your mean speed increases your velocity diagram becomes bigger so velocity of whirl become longer and then you can prove that the power transmitted will be greater because power transmitted is rotational speed into world velocity or velocity of world so there is a scientific answer behind all this thing what does it mean for the same power if i allow the rpm higher then i can achieve the same length of same length of mean velocity speed with a smaller mean diameter so turbine size will be small turbine size will be small so increasing speed of the turbine makes turbine diameter smaller <coughs> so so those days 25 megawatt 30 megawatt turbine used to run at 4500 and their dimension could be reduced their dimension would have been bigger if they were designed at 3000 rpm but today turbines are not 25 megawatt or 30 megawatt today's turbines are 250 megawatt 500 megawatt 660 megawatt today also sizes are much much bigger and we can reduce the size further if we increase the speed 4500 but the problem is gearbox 
to we mechanical engineering uh, we we simply cannot design a gearbox which can transmit such a large power even throughout the world the gearbox that is used in 25 megawatt turbine it was supposed to be the biggest gearbox in the world it used to be designed by dmag germany okay so designing gear for such a large torque transmission is very very difficult and that is why we don't go for a gearbox and today we in large transmission large power generation 25 megawatt 30 megawatt aaj bhi chalta hai kyunki 30 megawatt ka gearbox ban jate hai uske aage gearbox design karna mushkil hai mushkil hai so we we accept whatever size of turbine we get but to my, my whole answer actually um, is uh, centered around the velocity triangle that you have been taught in is you one me padhaya gaya tha ki nahi turbine ka velocity diagram second yes, uh, third year students i am asking you yes sir uh, phir se padho phir se padho utna aasan nahi hai there you will get the answer theek hai तो चलो आज हो गया यू कैन लीव नाउ वी विल मीट फ्राइडे यू कैन लीव